convenient. Why y'all do this? Y'all contribute to these people who destroying people like me. Innocent black men. Trying to fellowship with my people. You know, whatever type of connection I might make with somebody. And you know, somebody's character and reputation don't need to be destroyed by somebody like this. And y'all contribute to this shit. This is why I, I, I don't really like sympathize for the shit that happened to y'all. Now the the, the, the new Wapian looking brother, uh Asar, I don't know if he's a new Wapian, but he damn sure looked like a Prince York. <laughs> okay, this ain't no shot to you, brother, but you look like a new Wapian. Now I jumped all out and spoke about that because that's he came out of nowhere and he ain't never I ain't never heard him speak about me. So I got to show the similarities. Look, y'all, she doing the same thing to him as she did to me. She did the same thing to Ice Coleon. The reason I ain't speak about that shit because he jumped on the bandwagon with Clyde talking shit about me, which is strange. But Ali, y'all know that this is what this woman doing. Now listen. spot a liar okay Ali ain't pulled that out of her sag <laughs> or she didn't pull it out of Claudiva's sag <laughs> Ali did not just come up with that okay she didn't just pull that up out of nowhere y'all Claude Diva asked her for some money for an Uber and told her that she had a motherfucking interview. Think uh. about this, y'all. Just think about this. It's no way on God's green earth Ali would just make that up. She would not just come up with a lie like that. But guess what? The person that told the lie, people that tell lies forget their lies. Yep. Time goes on. You'll so why it ain't good to tell a lie? Somebody. You better I remember that lie you do. So if it's a goddamn lie, you might, especially if lie changes truth. People, don't you need money for this. You need money for that. You, all these different people. She forgot about this lie. You could tell how she react to it. Watch how Clyde Diva react to Ali busting her motherfucking ass out on scamming her. Scam me. Scamming her. Scam me. I, I just moved on. She's donated to that woman. And she still feels like she got to lie to her. She got a scam. She got a manipulator. How as kind as Ali has been to that woman, she I told you Ali no this, Ali likes abuse. I mean I, I I mean I hate to say it. She hangs around everybody that abuses her. I'll be sitting watching like, God damn. What the fuck is wrong with her? I don't get it. I thought they was done a year ago when they was going through this shit. And I was being used as a motherfucking wedge. It was my fault, of course. I ain't getting into that. But let's get back to this lie. Clive forgot the lie. Watch how she respond to it. Watch how she respond to this shit. Let me take it back a little bit. Helping your ass out, nigga. The fuck? I'm gonna I'm I'm get Ali's. The fuck? <laughs> Uh-oh. Let me go back. The fuck? The Uber to where? Did you get that Uber? Did you get that Uber? Listen to her. She don't even know what the fuck she's talking about. She's so confused. 
She's so fucking confused. CBS, you were going to CBS. That's what you told me. Playing ass hookup. Uh. Look at that response. She tells so many lies she don't remember. Thinking like a motherfucker. She probably don't forgot the lie to she told me. That lie that she told so she can come up with her story to cover it. Mm -hmm. This bitch is a scamming motherfucker. Scammer. Now, I'm, I'm going to y'all to look at this bitch. Scammer. Got to be careful because these people trying to flag Uncle Shug. Watch her reaction when Ali bring up the motherfucking CVS scam. Scam. She don't want me to call her business. Did, she, did you get that Uber? Did you get that Uber to CVS? To where? I thought you had a car, a Camaro. I thought you had a car. Do you have a car? A car at the airport. What are you talking? No, about? you were going to CVS. You were going to CVS. That's what you told me. Playing ass hookup. Girl, please. You sound stupid. And she, 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 don't want, she don't want the truth to come out. She, no, she called me through the cat to send her some money for a Uber so that she can go to an interview at CVS. The fuck? She's like, lying. I'm the almost, fuck? I'm, I'm, oh, my God. God. Yes. I am one of the most honest motherfuckers on YouTube. No, you're not. I even tell my motherfucker lying bitch. You lying motherfucking bitch. Shut the fuck up. Shut up, you lying motherfucking bitch. You said you needed another fucking Uber to go to your interview at CBS. Wow. I don't lying bitch. So I don't give a fuck where you work. Nobody needs to know where you work. Stop doxing your dumb ass out. The fuck? No, I'm dumb. You said it was for the cash back up. Nigga, put the cash back up. You always get. Wow. Busted like a motherfucker. Wow. Uh. Busted like a motherfucker. Clyde is a pimp and scamming, baby. Business. Did you get that Uber? Did you get that Uber to CBS? To where? I thought you had a car. A Camaro. I thought you had a car. Do you have a car? A car at the airport. Ali make up something like that. Ali or whatever. Why would she make that up? That don't make sense. I believe Ali. Anybody that'll call and tell me they're going to a damn funeral and need money to go to a funeral and then took their ass another way. You'll say any motherfucking thing. I believe you, Alex. Nigga, put the cash down back up. You always get mad towards the end of the month because you broke as fuck. Bitch, and you don't own nothing. And I always call other people broke. You still rent. You still rent. The fuck? Yeah. And then you tossed yourself and said that you lived in a two-bedroom motherfucking apartment. And you got three kids. The fuck is wrong with you? That's not you, dumb bitch. And I have what the fuck is wrong with you? I have an adult. Three children. And you live in a... By three different baby fathers. What a hoe. Uh-uh. Do she? They all got different the daddies. You so don't like when, though, if you felt that... I just ain't never been no fan of no woman got... If you felt like Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten family. kids, and all of them got different daddies. I ain't never God, been no fan no, of that shit. Right, I you, got two. They all got the same damn daddy. Will you please come on up and, um, I don't want to discuss your, uh, <laughs> I'm going to let <laughs> him do your, his uh, thing. I'm going to turn him down. With these content creators. I want to discuss the CVS scam. <laughs> Ali, why you keep going around these folks? But yeah, Ali was in her chat a lot. And uh Ali well, Ali, whatever this woman name is, she throws around a lot of money, right? 
whatever check she she go in, and uh, she just throw out money, and she threw out money to Diva him, scam Diva, and scam Diva just kind of took advantage of it. She was sizing me up, but she knew she had to come up with a lie <laughs> in order to get what she want. I started not to give it to her, and I'm going to give her more. That's the stupid, that's the crazy thing. I was going to give her more. Only reason I didn't give her more money is because of my son said no. Because I went into an account that uh, that we all have. And we all have to talk to each other before, you know, we go into the account and take something out. And uh, my son always on shit. He's a counsel. <laughs> he said, no, no, Madre, uh, give her a little bit. So I did. Because I was like, me and her had been talking uh, on that. Uh, she had been calling me on Instagram, um, FaceTime. And I felt sorry for when, when we hadn't talked. In a couple of days when she had called me, and she called me, she was crying. You know, told me about uh, her auntie. Told me about her auntie, the situation. And I was like, oh, and she was saying, you know, she's trying to get to where she's at. And if I could help out, she was calling her uh, subscribers and, and supporters and see if they could help out. And I was like, sure, yeah, I'll do it. And... It didn't, uh, I was seeing, trying to see if Allie was going to come. That's why I'm pausing, because I want to hear what Allie got to say on shoes here. And, uh, then uh -oh. next thing you know, she put in damn Indianapolis at the funeral. Next thing I fucking know, she in Cleveland. <laughs> this motherfucker in Cleveland. I said, this bitch took my money and went to Cleveland. You didn't have to lie, scammer. <laughs> Scam diva, you didn't have to lie, bitch. You could have just said what the fuck was going on. <laughs> or what you were trying to do. I ain't that type of person. But I don't like a liar. If you just say, look here, uh, I need money so I can go get me a blunt. Or I need a, uh, a beer. Hey, that's, that's what you, because that's what I do. That's what you do, that's what you do. I don't buy blunts. Hell, I, I buy enough to make blunts. But if you just need a blunt or need a beer or wine, be honest about the shit and say it. But I didn't like it that you lied. That's what fucked me up, that you lied. And we was talking just about every day. I wasn't really calling you. The only time I called her was when she called me and I missed the call. Because around this motherfucker here, it's like a train, uh, the conductor, and a caboose. I run shits around here from the front to the back. So I'm I'm always moving. We always moving around this motherfucker. Ain't no say we, well, yeah, we. We always moving around this motherfucker. And I'm the conductor of all this motherfucker, and I have to make sure this shit ran right. So when she called or FaceTime and I didn't hear it, I didn't see it, then when I get a chance to sit down and relax, I'll see it and, you know, and I'll call her back. But uh, I guess Allie ain't going to come up. I thought she was, but there she go. Let's turn it up here. That's her alley. Hello. This is what I want, then I'm going to cut it off. Because her and Alan was talking a lot behind the scene. Hey, what do you want to know? I want, to, I want you to break down the CBS scam, when this happened, and you know, you know, and, and did you know that she was lying? Um, well, I felt that she was lying. That's why she didn't get any more money from me. Um, and so, of course, I didn't send her any money. And, and she was obviously pissed off about it. She did call me when she was in New York. Because this is right before she went to New York, claiming that she had an interview at CVS. And she went to, um, you know, I guess New York a little bit after that. And she kept calling me 
and I knew she was calling me to send her money. I'm usually, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a legit motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if, if you need some money, and I knew it was like COVID time for a lot of people, and I just so happened to have extra cash or whatnot. But if you're using my money to do some fuck shit, then I got a problem with that. That's me. And that's the whole premise. And then after that, you try to sneak diss me on every show. Anytime somebody's giving Allie too much attention or saying something about me, she wanted to sneak diss me. And I don't got time. I don't got time for those stupid ass games. I don't know. You can ask any other question. Yeah, that's what I, I don't understand. You think that's the only reason because of um, the attention or or maybe the other places you go on YouTube? You think that was the only reason that she's doing the sneak distance? Because I, I know what you're talking about. She she does not care where I go and can't no, no grown person on YouTube tell me where I can and cannot go. Unfortunately, yes, I did, you know, stop going into your chat because i mean you got some people in the chat that you know block me on site you know what i'm saying i'm surprised they didn't block me yet but the thing is it's just like certain places i don't go if i know i have like enemies that i do not know i don't know these people you know i i built up some type of liking towards cly um just just based on like her, some of her comedy or whatever that's what people go there for her comedy or whatnot. But the thing is, you do not bite the motherfucking hand that feeds you. Right. And I this, said that. You're getting all these quote unquote donations, invest them in something. The fuck? People don't continue to donate to you for the rest of your motherfucking life. I'm a grown ass woman with kids and a family. I, I, I'm not going to be donating to you for the rest of your life. Buy up some stocks, Bitcoin. I don't give a fuck. But, but I'm not going to be, you know, your pockets. You know. Yeah, dude. Yeah, go I, ahead. I'm sorry. I listened to. I'm sorry for cutting you off because I don't want to 